breaking news coming to us from Deer Park, where the Intercontinental Terminals Company facility is on fire once again. This is a live look at the scene from Sky 2, where that fire has reignited, sending another black plume of smoke into the air. We do have team coverage of the latest developments. Sally Mamdu, Sion Rhodes, and Roseanne Aragon all covering the very latest. We begin with Sally with the latest on this new fire. Sally. And Keith, we're about four miles away from the plant. We're right across. We witnessed that plume, smoke, plume of smoke as we mentioned earlier. But as you can see, that's not no longer visible from where we're standing. It's much of a gray cloud right now, as you can see. So no smoke out here where we're standing anymore. We're about four miles away from the plant. But at times, it seems like ITC officials are making headway and controlling this fire. And at times, it looks like they're faced with some setbacks, like what they had to deal with today and just a few moments ago. Now, ITC officials said earlier today that the wall created to prevent any spills around the burn tanks partially collapsed as a result of this breach part of the Houston ship channels is now closed the channel close to traffic runs from Tucker's Bayou to Houston uh, ship channel light 116 also around 3 30 this afternoon as you saw on our uh, team coverage earlier today around four o'clock two ITC tanks reignited due to chemical runoffs shortly after that the Deer Park Office of Emergency Management tweeted that as a precaution, Harris County Precinct 8 is shutting down the uh, Beltway 8 ship channel bridge, but that just reopened a few moments ago. But right now we're waiting on additional information from ITC officials to just elaborate on what we saw and the status of these tank uh, tanks and whether we're expected to see uh, things like that in the next couple of days, as well as what Deer Park Office of Emergency, Emergency Management had to say. And we'll keep you updated as soon as we learn more information on these continuing developments developing story. For now, we're alive in Deer Park. Sally Mamdou, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Sally, thank you. Our team coverage continues now with Sion Rhodes. Sion, what can you tell us? Well, Lauren, we are at Center Street and Spencer Highway here, and I want to give you a look at the perspective from our scene. And you can see the smoke is dissipating quite a bit. It looks more like just a large gray cloud, but of course we do, do still have a bit of a chemical smell in the air as the wind blows our direction. Now, this of course coming on the day that some ITC and even EPA officials are speaking very glowingly about the status of the situation there at the tank farm. The EPA saying they felt they were moving in the right direction, that the benzene levels had not been detected at all, and they were happy about that. The ITC spokesperson, Alice Richardson, is saying the temperature of the tanks was dropping and that that was good news. But just hours after they talked about those two positive things happening, we had both the ship channel closing because of a potential spill from the ITC incident affecting the waterway there. And then, of course, we had the breach of that dike wall around the containment of the tanks there. And now, of course, this smoke, thick black smoke billowing in the air just a short time ago, causing a lot of concern to residents here. Here's what one of them told me just a moment ago. I was at work and we just all came outside and we seen that going on behind the Walmart in Deer Park. Um, the, I live two miles from the, the area. We've been sitting in a cloud of smoke since it started. And even with them saying nothing was going on with the air, you've got to trust your instincts and understand that, hey, that's not something that's not going on. And then for it to light up again like this, this is crazy. This is crazy. How much, how does it so despite um, affirmations and reassurances from ITC, from even the mayor of Deer Park, saying that people have nothing to be concerned about, you can hear a sense of distrust that is developing in the community, continuing in the community as the situation here continues to unfold. We're live. Sion Rhodes, KPRC, Channel 2 News.